Okay, let's just go ahead and pick up this little baby here. <laughs> Whoa, hey, is that Kevin? <gasps> Look at those eyes and how smart and wise she looks. He's not even protecting her from the rain. Very nice. Falling so slow. Oh my gosh. May still be a little bit upset. Oh, oh. Normally he doesn't just come right at me after I hit him like that. Today is a very different kind of day. Looks like those cinnamon rolls are nearly ready, huh, Poppy? <laughs> What's up, all you epic Minecraft, imposter, among us, sus, Fortnite, RuneScape, James, Chungus, Simsters, Goofsters, Gafsters, Pranksters, and, and uh, Kevin enthusiasts? It's me, Uncle Farmer Dad Ben. Today we're going to give Kevin a little pet on the head, like that. A little scratch him behind the ears. See, I told you he's getting better. I told you. And then also, uh, we're going to get little baby Karen out of the rain. Because it's raining, even though, again, it wasn't for Cal. Oh, <gasps> Poggers! And this little guy's getting all wet. But we're going to go ahead and get her out of there. And then I'm gonna put her in the brooder at least until it stops raining in a couple hours. And then we'll get her back under Kevin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and, and have a little spar with Kevin on the way. Oh, I know what you're thinking. And the answer is yes, I did get a drippy new haircut today. <laughs> and I've shown you guys about 101 methods to uh, fend off a Kevin during a Rhea attack. And whoa, is that hit rapper and artist, baby? I have a new method for you. Also, it looks like somebody knocked over the baby's food, which may have been a good thing because, yep, it didn't get all wet from the rain. That's kind of nice. Oh, hey, is that Kevin? <laughs> Let me close this up, sir. You know, I could have hit him with that little tub there, right? Like the good old days. I'm not doing that anymore because PETA's on my butt. They're sending me letters. They're knocking down my doors. Oh, what I do is I give him a pigeon. One of those little pigeons. I know some of you guys are saying, Uncle Ben, you had that pigeon and you... Whoa! No oh, now I know some of you guys may still be a little bit upset. Oh, oh. Oh, right in the... I know some of you guys may be a little upset because Uncle Ben hasn't sent you your spy camera pigeons and you ordered them ages ago. Isn't that right? Well, the truth is, guys, the people in China still haven't shipped them here. Yeah, I got about 2,000 pigeons in my possession, but the babies and the spy cameras are coming in two weeks. Kevin! Now I'm going to ship them straight to you guys immediately. But I will spend all night putting them in packages for you guys. And this is the last time I'm doing it. From now on, we are outsourcing merch and other things. Just because it's too much work for old Uncle Ben, who's taking care of all these animals and setting up a new rehab in, in Waco. There's still a lot of permitting that we have to get done. Also, there's a GoFundMe out there. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's pretty neat. We're getting a metal building from, from these nice Great Western Steel people. And that building is going to be perfect as a little barn for our farm sanctuary and wildlife rehab. Uh, whenever we get a lot more overflow patients little wildlife animals Kevin, okay i have never seen him this aggressive actually okay I, normally he doesn't just come right at me after i hit him like that so though today is a very different kind of day so i am bleeding we're gonna have to switch things up a little bit poggers why don't you ever help i have the spartan shield now as you can see this is a nice little present given to me it's love you guys as you can see Hey, Kevin can't get through it. Oh gosh, it's actually made of metal and it's much too heavy. Kevin, stop. The second I put the shield down, I'm done. I'm going back to old reliable. Oh gosh. Kevin, back up. This is for educational purposes. He made me bleed a little bit. I need to get his daughter. He's being an okay dad by protecting her. He's not being an okay pet. I'm just gonna pick her up. Oh, no, you don't. You know what? No, he's not being an okay dad because he's not even protecting her from the rain. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just go ahead and pick up this little baby here. <laughs> Whoa, hey, is that Kevin? Oh, <laughs> come here, child. Let's get you out of the rain. Kevin, I have a pickle Rick. I have a pickle Rick. Hey, Kevin, it's me, pickle Rick. I love how the Vinnies are just kind of watching. Yeah, I'm gonna give them the baby back. I just need to get the baby out of the rain for the next hour. Look closely, she has a little bit of a white dot on her head, uh, which makes her look like a little bit of both Karen and Kevin. Hello, Kevin. I'm gonna kick you. I'll literally kick you. Don't come near me or this child. Back up, Kevin. No, she's mine. I'm gonna take better care of her than you. I'm gonna take... Oh, the baby's hopping. Stay away. Okay, the baby. Let's go. 
That was a harder spar than I've had with Kevin in years. Also, I'm making salmon rolls. And this is it, guys. She's just in here temporarily with a little bit of food. She will be fine. She just has a little bit of food. We're just gonna wait for the next hour for the rain to stop, and then she's gonna go right back out to sleep with her dad and mom. You see, guys, that wasn't so terrible now, was it? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and feed all these little guys. Hello, children, who wants food? Karen, would you like a little bite? Would you guys just stop and take a look at how gorgeous Karen is and how beautiful she is? Look at those eyes and how smart and wise she looks. There's nothing quite like getting a nice close-up look at Karen's face. The only thing second to that would be feeding these adorable little babies. Good evening, Mr. Gamer. Would you enjoy a little treat? Kevin, hey, here, have some food, sir. I don't want to fight you anymore. It looks like little Tim Bit, little Tim Horton baby is just hanging out here with these little kids. And they spend a lot of their time rooting through the grass looking for slugs. It's been less than 24 hours since I made this little pool here with these little stairs and they've already made it completely muddy. Now let's see if we can find an adorable little poppy in here. <gasps> Sometimes Poppy just be hanging out up in here, and I usually don't worry about her attacking any of the ducks. At this point, the ducks are all big enough now to where Poppy isn't really a huge threat. We may have to uh, safely and humanely trap Poppy to keep an eye on her, make sure that she doesn't do anything bad. <laughs> Let's just take a look in here and see if this even is Poppy, because it could just be a random possum. Hey there, adorable little creature. <laughs> it's me, potentially your dad. Hello, are you a random opossum? Are you going to bite me? Well, this certainly does appear to be a little Poppy, judging from how it seems to be okay with me petting it. Poggers, how's about you go very far away? Go. Good boy. And because I have my trapper's permit, I can legally take her into my possession and home. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Poppy. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. DeBaby, but you can't come inside today. I've got a little play date with my first ever daughter. Like I said, Poppy is a wild animal and she lives in the wild, but I, as a trapper, it is my responsibility to check on the animal that I trap and make sure that it's very healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little mix of meat, veggies, and a little bit of dog food. Food, which is what's recommended for adult possums. Now there are diets that you can buy online, but some of them are scams. And of course, if you notice that they have severe metabolic bone disease, you can give them a calcium supplement. But as you can see, Poppy seems to be clinging on to my shoulder and arms very well. Mmm, looks like those cinnamon rolls are nearly ready, huh, Poppy? <laughs> as I said, guys, it's a part of every trapper's responsibility to go ahead and cut up some apples for every possum that you catch. Now, possums should be released back into the wild unless you have a terrible predator problem and they're eating all of your chickens. But in that case, just get a dog or get a better coop. Oh, there we go. Now, I don't worry about Poppy attacking any of my animals anymore because we have poggers and poggers does a great job of protecting them. Let's go and get that there. And in retrospect, I'm pretty sure that what did end up actually killing Nugget was a hawk or a peregrine falcon that dive-bombed her. And while it was eating her, Poggers probably scared it away. But all I know is Poppy is an opportunistic omnivore, so she would eat anything that kind of popped in front of her. In this case, it's a little apple, as you can see. Didn't take long. Oh, oh you dropped it. <laughs> Let's get you another one. Didn't take long for her to... Uh, get in tight, grab this little apple slice, as you can see. While we wait for the rain to stop, let's enjoy a little poppy ASMR on my back. And if you were subbed to the Patreon, you would get this content on a somewhat semi, not really at all regular basis. Give us a little bite. Very nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these little apple slices and put them in this little jar for her. Gonna make sure I don't give her anything with the seeds because those contain cyanide. And although the cyanide is very small traces, I still don't wanna run the risk. I'm gonna put a little bit of mixed veggies on top. These I've heated up a little bit, but they're not hot. With that, you wanna include a little bit of a pinch of dog food as well, because the dog food has a lot of good proteins and other nutrients, calcium, things that support a large dog. And believe it or not, dog food is recommended by a lot of wildlife rehabs. You don't wanna actually give them cat food, Dog food mixed with veggies is the ideal thing for adult possums whenever they are injured and they're getting ready to be healed up. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dash of that right in there. I don't recommend you guys just go out and feed all the wildlife in your yard, but if you think they need it, it's not necessarily illegal. I'm just out here caring for the animals. Wonder if there's anything in this little pouch of hers. After all, she has been spending quite some time with that handsome boy possum down the street. My queen leaves from the 
by falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the foam heaven i love her more than you ever will you better take good care wow he stepped around her he knew to step around her that was really interesting if we're gonna be living together for the next 27 years sir you're gonna have to take good care of your babies good night everyone love you all right poggers what say you and i go inside and enjoy some of those wonderful little cinnamon rolls huh but i would certainly enjoy that dad all right guys it's been quite the week we got a lot done well, i'm gonna go ahead and feed poppy the rest of these little apples and then get her right back in her little space outside where she belongs i promise thanks for stopping by and watching oh almost forgot to tell